Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my 2019 Oscar predictions video. Um, same as last year, I'm just going to go through these. So, without further ado, let's get going. Uh, I want to start off with these three categories right here. I have not seen uh, any of these movies um, documentary short subject, animated short film, or a live action short film. Um, I can say anything about these. So, I know nothing. Alright, so uh, let's start off with the sound mixing. We got Black Panther, Bohemian Rhapsody, First Man, Roma, and A Star is Born. Uh, for this one, I think I predicted uh, in First Man when I did my review that uh, it would get nominated for, uh, for Best uh, Sound. It's just the sound in that movie just just rattles you it always make it, it almost makes it like like really frightening using the sound and they had to come up with all those sound effects themselves so I think it's going to first man uh, next up we have sound editing um, we have Black Panther Bohemian Rhapsody first man first man a quiet place and Roma uh, in this one I thought it was pretty clear that a quiet place should get it um, just because in this one sound is almost like a, a character uh, in the film uh, it's a movie that basically revolves around sound so the sound editing was on point you know it had to be um, and they really play with the sound to get great uh, uh, emotional uh, how to say emotional reaction response from the audience um, and one of the one of the differences between editing and mixing is mixing is more like sound effects. Editing is just the way that it's cut. So I think Quiet Place takes this one. Okay, best original song. Uh, we got all the stars from Black Panther. I'll fight from RBG. The place where the lost things go. Mary Poppins returns. Which that's actually not my my favorite song from Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, my favorite song was uh, the cover is. A a cover is not the book, or the cover is not the book. We have Shallow, A Star is Born, and When a Cowboy Trades His Spurs for Wings from the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Uh, my personal favorite is When a Cowboy Trades His Spurs for Wings from the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, but I think Shallow is going to take this one. Um, I hope Buster wins, but I think they're going to give it to Shallow, and Lady Gaga will get her uh, Academy Award. So, up next, we have original score, we have Black Panther, Black Klansman, If Beale Street Could Talk, Isle of Dogs, and Mary Poppins Returns. So, I feel like the Academy really likes Alexander Desplat. Um, they may, for, might be controversial. I wouldn't be surprised if Black Panther sneaks in, um, but I think it's going to go to Isle of Dogs. My personal favorite is uh, Mary Poppins Returns. Um, but I think they're going to give it to Isle of Dogs, in my opinion. Alright, moving on to Best Original Screenplay. We have The Favorite, First Reformed, Green Book, Roma, and Vice. This one actually went back and forth over... And over um, because at first I kind of thought is Green Book was that based on a book I don't know I don't think so um, but it is based on real events and so I was hesitant to give it best original screenplay but it's not adapted from a written works I guess those are the requirements um, I thought at first Roma should get it then in the end I settled on Green Book I did not see the favorite and I didn't see first reformed so I just I can't I can't say it's going to that, um, you know, even though, you know, I didn't see Isle of Dogs, but I, I can sometimes make educated guesses based on what the nom no, uh, what's nominated and who's nominated, but these other two, I just, I don't know. I can't, I didn't see the movie, so I, I just, I can't. Uh, best Adapted Screenplay, we have The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Black Klansman, Can You Ever Forgive Me, If Beale Street Could Talk, and A Star Is Born. Um, this one, I think, from the very beginning, and I think I said it in the movie's review uh, when I did it on my channel, that it was going to get nominated for a, a best uh, screenplay or best writing on some capacity. That movie's Black Klansman. Um, 
I just thought the writing was pretty sharp in that one. Uh, the Ballad Buster Scruggs, I think what, what crippled it a lot is the fact that it's not one big narrative, so that that's really going to hurt it uh, with a lot of its nominations. I did not see If Beale Street Could Talk. I did not see Can You Ever Forgive Me. Uh, more on Can You Ever Forgive Me later. Okay, so we have Best Visual Effects, Avengers Infinity War, yay, yay. Christopher Robin, First Man, Ready Player One, and Solo, a shitty Star Wars story. Um, clearly, I think the obvious choice for this one is Avengers Infinity War. I really, everyone knows I'm a big Marvel fan. I love this movie. I love the Avengers. I want it to be called Academy Award winning Avengers Infinity War. Please give it to Avengers. It was way better. Thanos was a main character in that movie. If the CGI wasn't sharp, it would not have worked. The only one of these movies I haven't seen is I didn't see Christopher Robin, because I heard it was actually really boring, and I'm just not into the whole, like, Hook, the movie Hook, where the old character comes back. Now, it just, I don't know. I, I like Ewan McGregor. Maybe I'll see it on Netflix or something if, if I'm clicking around. So, everything else was serviceable. Ready Player One, the CGI. I could tell I was looking at CGI, but I, I really thought felt like Thanos was a character that was standing there. And First Man, I think it was very subtle. Um, I just, I'm really rooting for Avengers, and I think it's going to win. Okay, so uh, makeup and hairstyling. We have Border, Mary, Queen of Scots, and Vice. The... Actually, Mary Queen of Scots, um, I remember seeing the trailer for and being interested in. I don't know if this movie's out, or it must have come and gone, and I didn't know. Because I actually was a little bit interested. I love Margot Robbie and uh, Cerise Ronan, or however you say her name. Um, she was good in Lady Bird. Um, but I, I've got to give it to Vice. Um, I, I thought Christian Bale had gained all that weight. Um, so I, I don't know. But uh, he looked like Dick Cheney. So, uh, I've been going with Vice. So costume design. Um, this is one that I was, I think from the very beginning, um, I had made up my mind, but the nominees are The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Black Panther, The Favorite, Mary Poppins Returns, and Mary Queen of Scots. Now, Sandy Powell was on here twice. Um, the thing with um, four of these is that they're all period pieces, so they had pictures and historical records to kind of just look at and recreate something. Uh, with Black Panther, there was, yeah, they had kind of ideas, but they created something brand new. Right from the very beginning when I saw that first trailer to Black Panther and I saw the people in their colorful uh, costumes, I was like, oh, that's beautiful. And, and they did it so perfectly. They took um, like a tribal look as a base and made it look futuristic. And that is something completely original. Um, and I, I just, I, I, it blew my mind. The, the costumes were absolutely beautiful. These other things, uh, Mary Poppins' favorite, good job and all, but it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's just recreating what's already been created. So, I'm going with Black Panther on this one. Okay, and we have production design. Now, I don't know why Roma's even on here. I think they just filmed that on location. Um, First Man, I can see a little bit. The Favorite, I think it was just on location. And Mary Poppins, it just recreated London. Black Panther, again, um, it, they had to create this whole world of Wakanda. It was a fictitious world that had to have sort of tribal African um, flair to it, yet still come across as the most technologically advanced civilization uh, on Earth. And that all had to be built from the ground up. And uh, the creativity behind that, they pulled it off in a spectacular fashion. Um, I, I have to give it to Black Panther. Um, they did a great job. That, that's two, two Oscars for Black Panther. And three for Marvel. Okay, best foreign language film. The only one of these that I've seen is Roma. The uh, nominees are uh, Capernaum, Cold War, Never Look Away. Roma and shoplifters. There are the countries Lebanon, Poland, Germany, Mexico, and Japan. Um, I know nothing about these other movies. 
I did see Roma, and I saw Roma in theaters. I completely missed that it was on Netflix. Um, but uh, it's a good movie, so I'm going with Roma. Okay, best animated feature. We have Incredibles 2, Isle of Dogs, Mirai, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. Um, Incredibles 2 was a really good movie. It didn't quite blow my mind like the first one, but it was good. Ralph Breaks the breaks the internet I think came out during a time when I was completely obsessed with Red Dead Redemption 2 I did like the first one I plan on seeing this one when it's on uh, maybe it's already on Netflix I didn't see Out of Dogs or uh, Mirai I actually really don't like Wes Anderson I find his movies boring it's, that might be an unpopular thing to say I don't like the Royal Tenenbaums uh, I didn't like that Mr. Fox movie I did like the one where Ed Norton plays the scout on an island but the clear choice for me, head and shoulders above the rest, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That's another Marvel character based, even though it's Sony, um, it's a Marvel character based uh, movie that I think deserves to win. And I was very against this movie. I thought it was a stupid idea. Oh, they're doing Miles Morales? No. Where's my Peter Parker? But the way that they did it, uh, I care about Miles Morales now, believe it or not. That, that's how good this movie was. Okay, much like last year, um, getting to a section called snubs, and um, clearly um, the two biggest snubs were Won't You Be My Neighbor and Three Identical Strangers for Best Documentary. Those were incredible movies, and I cannot believe they're not on there. Also, Annihilation for Best Screenplay, and Emily Blunt, I think, she got uh, she got snubbed twice. I thought for sure she was going to get nominated for uh, A Quiet Place. Um, and probably for Mary Poppins, and it turns out she just got nothing. Uh, she was my favorite to win an Oscar this year. And, oh, well. That's just... That's how it is sometimes, I guess. So, uh, here we have uh, Best Documentary Feature. Uh, nominees are Free Solo, uh, Hale County This Morning, This Evening, Minding of the Gap, uh, Fathers and Sons, and, ooh, I forgot the image for RBG. Sorry. Uh, RBG, I actually was close to going to go see, but I was afraid. I, I haven't seen the movie, but I kind of feel like it, it was going to get a little bit preachy politically, and I didn't feel like getting preached to. Um, I did see Free Solo. Free Solo, if you saw my review, I predicted that it's going to win uh, the Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature. This is an incredible documentary. These guys, I mean, I don't want to go on too much. You can see my review, but uh, it's just a remarkable documentary. If you see, if you're not a documentary person, you can watch this one and be entertained. All right, film editing. We have Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, and Vice. Um, so for this one, uh, I went with Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I feel like the way they recreated a lot of those um, those stage moments it had to match perfectly, so they really had to sync up the footage that they captured with the previous uh, captured footage, and I think that's easier said than done. Um, nothing else really struck me as having fantastic editing. Um, Vice tried to do kind of some use it for humor and it kind of was a little bit over the top and the favorite again so one reason I didn't see that movie well I'll, I'll, I'll get into it later <laughs> so best cinematography um, I only saw Roma in A Star is Born and I, and I think Roma was unbelievably beautifully shot the nominees were Cold War The Favorite Never Look Away Roma and A Star is Born um, Roma, in fact, when, when I was watching it, there were a couple scenes that I thought that would make a beautiful picture just to hang on on my wall. Um, so it's it's a very well shot movie. Um, of the two that I saw, I have no reason to... I mean, maybe The Favorite had some nice cinematography, I don't know, but I liked what they did with Roma, so that's what I'm picking. So, Best Actress in a Supporting Role, um, Amy Adams for Vice, Marina Tavira in Roma, Regina King for If Beale Street Could Talk, Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz, both from The Favorite. 
Now, with regards to The Favorite, I didn't see it. I was close to going to go see it, and then I looked at the trailer and I remembered what it was from when I had seen the trailer previously. I just cannot stand Victorian-era period piece dramas. They're always the same boring shit. It's like some old lady, oh, you'll never be one of us. And then at the end she's like, oh, you do have class. You're one of us now. And, and then the girl, oh, the eyes just a pearl girl from Birmingham. Oh, thank you. I, I, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that shit. It's boring. I, I hate, I just can't do it. I don't like that time period. Those types of movies I, I cannot stand. Um, I thought Marino was great in Roma. I didn't see if Beale Street could talk. Um, but I think this is Amy Adams' year. Uh, she was great in Vice. And just for her body of work alone, I think she's going to take home the Oscar. So, best actor in a supporting role Mahersha Ali for Green Book, Adam Driver for Black Klansman, Sam Elliott for Star is Born, Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me, and Sam Rockwell for Vice. Now, Sam, I think, won last year uh, for Three Billboards. Um, I didn't see Can You Ever Forgive Me. Um, Sam Elliott was kind of just Sam Elliott. I've seen him play that before. Adam Driver and Mahersha Ali. It comes down to these two. Um, and I, I just. I. I'm a little bit bothered that Mahersha Ali is in the supporting role category. I think he was a lead. I think he was a co-lead with Vigo, and I think they should both be um, in that category. Um, in which case, um, the competition would be stiffer, but I, I just think that Mahersha Ali was a bit better than Adam Driver. But I just don't think he should be in the category. I think this award should go to Adam Driver, and Mahersha Ali should be in the other category. But if we move him to the other category, I don't think he'll win. And I'll talk about that in a second. So my pick is Mahersha Ali for uh, Best Supporting Actor. Okay, Best Director. We have Spike Lee, Pavel Pawlowski, Yergo Lanthimos, Alfonso Cuaron, and Adam McKay. I think here it's head and shoulders above the rest. It's pretty clear Alfonso Cuaron is going to take home his third directing Oscar. Or does he, does he have one or two? I don't remember. I think he has two. That's my be his third and he, I think I've got him picked for a couple other ones and this guy's gonna have like six Oscars on his shelf by the end of the night so Alfonso Cuaron um, these are the ones that and ah, I didn't see the favorite like I said or Cold War so I did see Black Klansman and Vice and then ah. <laughs> so best actress in a leading role uh, Yelitsa Paricio for Rome, Glenn Close for The Wife, Olivia Coleman for The Favorite, and Lady Gaga for Star is Born, and Melissa McCarthy for Can You Forgive Me. Now, the thing about Melissa McCarthy, I cannot stand her. I will never watch another one of her stupid movies. So, how dare she go and tell, oh, all these, people who, all these people who don't like my stupid Ghostbusters movie, oh, they're just fat losers who don't have wives. Well, okay, so is a woman a loser if she doesn't have a husband? Come on. You just shut up and entertain me. Stupid troll. I, 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 I'm never watching another one of her movies. Lady Gaga was good, but not, not Oscar caliber good. Um, my personal favorite is the Elite Aparicio, but I think they're going to give it to Glenn Close um, just for her body of work. Um, but again, Elitsa is my personal favorite. I don't think they're going to give it to her for her first starring role. Although I think... Yeah, no, I just, I just, that's, I don't think that happens. Um, yeah, I think it's going close this year. All right, moving on. Got best actor in a leading role now. <laughs> this category is super competitive. We got Christian Bale for Vice, Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born, William Dafoe for At Eternity's Gate. I did not see At Eternity's Gate. Remy Malek for Bohemian Rhapsody, and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. Um. Now, I don't think Vigo is going to get it for Green Book. Um, I think, really, it's the three. It's 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 Christian, Bradley, and Rami. And I think from those two, Christian and Rami are are, are, are are the top two contenders. And 
I just I, I have a feeling that Remy Malik is going to get it. Um, a little bit over Christian Bale, even though they're they're both playing characters that exist, so they had footage to look at. Both of them, um, they could become these people. Uh, I feel Remy was better. I think I think I think he encompassed the, the character of Freddie Mercury a bit better in Bohemian Rhapsody. So he's my pick. So the big one, best picture. So Black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, Roma, A Star Is Born, and Vice. I went back and forth. Most people, I think, in their mind is between Roma and Green Book. I think Roma is going to win best foreign film. I don't think that's the best movie. Um, and so I'm really torn between Green Book and Bohemian Rhapsody, but I just have a feeling, tonally, the Academy might give it to Green Book. My personal favorite, though, because I am such a Marvel fan, is Black Panther. I wouldn't be surprised. This movie, I think, might have the most nominations out of any other uh, movie. I'm, I'm going to do a, a quick uh, little shot of the most uh, nominations and certain random statistics, but... I wouldn't be surprised if Black Panther came in and uh, and stole the award from Green Book. It's either going to be Green Book or Bohemian Rhapsody, but I'm going with Green Book. Okay. Well, anyway, um, those are my predictions. Um, let me know what you guys think. I guess we'll see after someday how close I was. Um, and uh, I will see you guys later. Uh, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe, okay? Bye.